Hey guys, it's May May and welcome to another video. Today is the start of a very fun series. This is a series I'm going to call Videos You've Not Seen. Now, you know, I've been doing YouTube a long time. Like, I think I'm working on my 12th year on YouTube. So I've got some videos that go way back. So I started looking at some of those projects that I did when we first started the channel, like back in 2013. And there's some really good projects and some really fun projects out there that we've not, that you've not seen. And I can tell you that you hadn't seen it because I looked at the view count, right? And the views of this particular video back when I uploaded it, this video is called the Connect 4 Challenge and it only got 435 views and it was uploaded in 2013. So I know you hadn't seen it or at least the vast majority of you have not seen it and I thought we should bring it back. Now, why did I choose this one? A couple reasons. Number one, back in the day, we were all about a challenge. We love to challenge each other. We love to challenge our audience. We love to collab and challenge with each other and that was super fun to me and I thought what a great thing to bring back today to where I can challenge this audience. Also, back in the day when we did this, we didn't really have the same ability to share your projects like we do now, but now we do because we have our customer gallery, we've got our Facebook group, we got lots of places for you to share what you're making. And so it's gonna make this challenge even more fun. And to add to it, because I'm doing a challenge, we will be doing a giveaway. So stick around at the end of the video, I'll explain the giveaway and how to get into it. All right. so. The Connect Four Challenge, what was it? Basically this, what you did was you either printed this guy out or you just looked on the screen and you picked four things and they had to connect. So for example, if I wanted to start in the top corner, I would maybe go here from rain to happy and then to yellow and then to umbrella, okay? So maybe I did my Connect Four like that. Now listen, I don't think I thought this one out very good way back then. This feels very, very simple to do and very easy. And it also made me think a little bit. Like I remember having to go, which way do I want to go? Well, I want to take all the thinking away and make it much easier for us today. So let me show you your new challenge. Your new challenge is going to be called the roll with it challenge. Now this one we're going to do with the roll of a die. So you don't even have to think. It's going to literally tell you what your parameters are. So here's how this is going to work. I'm going to get um, my app. I'm going to use an app to roll the dice with. I don't have a set of dice here with me at the shop. So we're just going to use an app and then we'll be choosing. We'll let the dice tell us what our project is. Now, if you would like to participate in the description below, I will have this in a PDF that you can print out or just open up on your screen so you can see it. You really don't have to print it out, but I did so you guys could see it on camera. So let's see what my parameters are. So what I did was I went to my app store and I looked for an app that had a dice that would roll or a die that would roll. And that's what I got here. You may have to find that on your Android. You may just have a die laying around at your house, just a set of dice, use one of them because you only need to roll to six. Or you can go online and look up a dice roll app and they're online as well. Worst case scenario, just write the number one through six on some paper, put it into a little pot and pull one out. You just got to get random numbers one through six. So here we go. We're going to start in the first column. We're going to do this by columns, okay? So there's five parameters that I'm going to have. So column number one is going to be colors. Let's see which one I get. So I'm going to tap this to roll the dice. Row number three is mine. So, ooh, I love that one, actually. I'm glad I got that one. So I will circle this. That will be the color family that I'll have to stay in. Now, column number two is going to tell me the occasion that I'll be making a card for. Number three, again, so a birthday card. Love that too, because those colors are great. Let's roll again. In this column, it's going to tell me the type of card. And guess what? This one's going to be a corner fold card. And you'll see the, all the other options whenever you open the PDF there. All right, let's do number four. Number four is going to tell me I have to use foam tape. And the next one is going to tell me that I have to use a die. That's pretty cool. I'm pretty happy with that. Now, your challenge, hear me out, your challenge is to do just what I did. Roll the dice, choose it. Roll it, choose it. Don't change it. We want to challenge ourselves, okay? So I'm going to be making a birthday card in this colorway that has a corner fold. There is foam tape, some kind of dimension on it, and I have to use a die to complete the card. All right, that's what I'm going to do in this video today. But you're going to roll the dice and get your own. And then when you get it done, I want you to share it with us on our customer gallery or at our Facebook page. But there will be a giveaway. And if you want to participate, you'll want to hear at the end so you'll know where to share your picture. Okay. All right. Let's start making. 
Okay, guys, so here's what I've done. I've taken my rule sheet here, the things I need to follow, and I've gone into my stash. And here's a couple of things I found. Number one, this little sheep. I love this die, and I have to use a die. And I thought it would be cute if I used the sheep. And then I did like happy birthday to you, you know, with the sheep, like E-W-E. I think that would be cute. Also, this piece of cardstock, which is from, this is what I love about these kind of challenges. It makes me look completely outside the box, right? This is from the at home paper pack and the colors are virtually exactly what I've got. It might be missing a little bit of that kind of aubergine or that, that um, purpley color, but it's pretty close and I think that'll work. And if it is missing that color, I can use this for my card base to add it in right? Now, you don't have to be this specific. You can just use these as guidelines, but I think it's kind of fun to try to be pretty strict on the challenge. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do some prep work, and then we'll come back and assemble. So here's where I'm at. I've got my little sheep and I've got my little card base going and I have done this just to see how to kind of lay this out together. So these are my letters for the word you and then I've got two stamped there. I kind of know what I'm doing, but I've kind of derailed myself because I think I told you earlier that I thought this would be a cool pocket for a gift card and it still might be, but now I think I want to do something different. I have this other idea. So I think I'm going to cut this away. I know it's crazy, right? But this is how challenge videos do. You challenge yourself and you never know what's going to happen. So I'm going to just cut this away with my scissors. Um, it'll still be a corner fold and it'll still be cute, but I'll show you what my new idea is. Good deal. Okay. So I actually like that so much better. I think it makes much more sense. And now I want to line this with a white piece of cardstock. So from our stamp set called Birthday Tag It, I'm going to use birthday and the word two. And I think I'm going to use this tag. Just go with me on this one. So let's start here. Okay, so I've got a piece of white cardstock. I'm going to place it here just like this where it's going to get glued. I don't quite have it right. There we go. I'm going to shut this down. I'm just going to use a pencil and give myself a mark of where this is going to live. Then from that birthday tag it stamp set, I'm going to take the sentiment that says happy birthday and I'm going to stamp it up here using those marks to show me where and kind of the angle I need to have. This angle may not be perfect, but this should get pretty close. All right, so then we're going to erase those pencil marks. And this is going to get glued 
just inside here, just like this. Oh, that's cute. I like that, I like that. So now let's work on the outside. Do you remember a while back I told you that it's a good thing to do with your scraps to go ahead and pre-cut some of your dyes? This one is some grass and I have a whole stack of different colors of green pre-cut. And would you believe this matches my colorway perfect? So these are my colors that I'm trying to mimic. And look, it's almost exactly that same green. So that's going to be perfect to bring my colors in. And I think it'll be a good little place for our little sheep to live. So what I want to do is I want to put one piece down directly onto the card and then I'm going to pop this one up just to give my grass a little dimension so we can put the sheep down inside. I want my little sheep to live in the bottom left of this because I want to put some of my wording over here. So let's put some foam on him and pop him up over there. I'm only going to put foam to the side right now. The reason is I think I want to slide my sentiment in, but I need him in place so that I can see that I can always go back and add a piece of foam afterwards. We can just kind of do an insert. So this will get him into place. Just like that. He is so stinking cute. Oh my goodness. All right, let's see what we can do with this. To stamp this, I do want to show you this. This stamp that says two, it has two little dots beside it for when you're making a tag. But what I did was I just inked up the T and the O and didn't put ink on the dots. And that's how I got the two. So we've got that stamped there. Now what I'm going to do... I think I want this to live tucked under like so. And I can't decide if I want to do a tag edge or not. I may just leave it like that because this is what I want to be here. I want to be the little letters. U, just like this. And then the exclamation point. I think I will do a little tag shape on the edge there. So I know I need it to be shallow. So I'm just going to go just like this and then from corner to corner or from corner to that cut. And I think I will cookie dough distress it a little bit. That probably sounded funny. I'm not going to use actual cookie dough. We're going to use Simon Hurley's cookie dough ink. But if you've got cookie dough, hey, use it. <laughs> or eat it. That would be better. That's the better part. Eat your cookie dough in the craft room. Look how pretty that cookie dough is. It just leaves the best little distress without being muddy. I love it. I'm going to glue this guy straight down. And then we'll put our word on. For these letters, because they're so tiny, I'm going to use my sticky folio to get the adhesive on the back. Okay, guys, that is my card. I think that's really cute. I love this challenge. Let's look at my rules that I had to follow and see how I did. Okay, so my color scheme, this guy. I think the only thing I could have done is maybe added some lime green, but it just didn't really work for me when I put it to the card. I tried it for my little flag and it was just too different. So I stuck with some of the colors in there. At least four of them are on the card. Then I had to do happy birthday. So I got that on. Corner fold card, you can see that there in the corner. And then foam tape is under this guy and also under our grass. And then a die. That's what I got from our little sheep and our little words. This was a fun one. I think you can see that doing this kind of challenge caused me to go into my stash and pull up some things I haven't used in a while. This little sheep who I love, I haven't used him in forever, but I think this is a great way to do it. Okay, if you stuck around this long, you want to know how to participate and win a prize. So let me tell you about our giveaway. So I tried to think of a giveaway that everyone could use and everyone would want to win, even if they already had one. And here it is. It is a stamp wheel. Are you kidding me, guys? I love this tool. If you have not seen it, this is what it is. And I have a full video showing you how to use it. So if you enter, if you play along with us in the Roll With It card challenge, all this information will be in the description for you. If you play along and you post the card, including the rules that you had to roll with in the description of the card, you can be entered to win a stamp wheel. Now, we want you to post that to our customer gallery at mememadeit.com. That's the easiest place for, for us to find everybody's entries. So just make your, um, make your card using the Roll With It Challenge information and then post your finished product with all the rules you had to roll with listed beside it to our customer gallery. And then Tamitha will grab those entries up and we'll do a random drawing to win a stamp wheel. I hope you enjoyed today. It was super fun for me. The card was really fun. It really did uh, challenge me, honestly. 
because I was like, wow, those colors, that is so not me, but I enjoyed doing it. And I hope you guys enjoyed following along and playing along. I cannot wait to see what you do. Um, don't forget too, if you share to our customer gallery, feel free to also share to our Facebook group. If you are a Facebook member, you can go over there and share, and then we can talk back and forth about everybody's cards and how it went as you were doing your challenge. Thanks so much for being here today. And until next time, bye now. Mm -hmm.